everyone. So as you can see, I already have my base coat down. This is a Payne's Gray mixed with a gunmetal metallic, so it's really metallic-y looking. Just want to make sure I don't have any clumps in there. <laughs> I'm going to do a strainer waterfall. Um, if you join us on Monday nights, you see us do them once in a while. But I'm going to place the strainer right in the middle here. And I'm just going to put colors in the strainer and let it flow. The colors I'm using today are Folk Art Blue Flash. That's the color shift paints. Soho Silver. Craftsmark Pewter. These are all metallics. Blick Metallic Brass. Craftsmark Gold. I just have a little bit, so I want to use it up. Um, Deco Art Teal Topaz. I probably may put the silver after that again and run them through. But I want to try to get several layers of color going, so I'm not going to put a ton on to start with. But I am going to start with the blue flash. setting the color in the strainer and it's starting to come out now. I always like to watch to see if it's going to go down the middle or if it's going to go to one side. That helps me to do a little adjustment. So yesterday I shipped probably 15 boxes of paintings from our auction on Sunday night. And I, while I was at the post office, I set up a P.O. box. And I will list that below if you want to send us cards or letters or pictures of your work. Or if you want to send us some kind of contraption to try to paint with it, we'd be more than willing to try it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below and hit that little bell next to that button so you'll get notified when we upload our next video. It's very slow moving. <laughs> that up pretty high too. Nor higher than normal anyway. But I am not using a ton of paint when I do that. So. starting to come this way so I can adjust that before I get too far into it. That should fix it.
we've got some pretty stuff coming out of the strainer on this side too. <laughs> The uh, woman at the post office was so great yesterday. We had some international packages that we needed to get quotes on. And she was struggling. this base really thin too so I thought it would move faster but um, I did put the blue flash on the outside edge which is really pretty right now I'm going to add a little bit of silver and a little bit of the pewter to finish it off I don't want to do a ton of stretching, so I'll let it do it by itself. And when you get, when you take your strainer off, you have a kind of a neat little um, puddle there. If you're using the right colors, you shouldn't get too mucky looking. open up those edges a little bit more. I'm just popping air bubbles. fly in here that's driving me crazy today. Let's let it sit for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, so I don't see much change except for the um, the blue flash spreading out a little bit. I'm going to pour a little bit more off the end. 
on a hard tilt just to bring some of this down. All my paint is in the middle, so I'll bring that gold right off the edge. Okay, that's a little better. And I think what I'll do is just blow these very edges out a little bit with the airbrush um, so they look more uniform to this. more torch. And I think that's it. So click like and share. Leave a comment. Check out my links below for everything. I have my microphone here, so I have to be careful. This is kind of cool. I love the blue flash on the edges. Um, I'm hoping the other side will go over the edge a little bit. I may have to force it a little with the airbrush, but I'll do that after I shut the camera off. And I definitely will probably Definitely will probably. That makes sense. I most likely will resin this one with my stone coat, um, art coat. And if you're interested in getting resin, my code is below. Uh, you'll get $30 off an $80 order. Put all your items in the cart and enter the code CWA, all in caps, and you'll get $30 off. So thanks for watching, everybody, and... I will see you on the next one. Bye now.